What is up everybody? It is Drake here with DSF Financial showing like-minded individuals the ATM business and how I'm making my money work for me through passive income. Now with this new route that I have established uh, here in the North Dallas area, I kind of wanted to time myself to see how long it takes me to fill up the ATMs after leaving work. Right now it is uh, 4.59, if I can get that for you guys, 4.59 in the uh, afternoon and uh, hot, hot, hot here in, uh, in Texas, but uh, I'm living with it. Now first things first is I did just get off work. So first I need to go to the bank. Luckily my bank uh, stays open till six because of these crazy COVID times. They have the drive through open till six. So I give myself a little extra time to go fill or to go get the cash first. Then I'm gonna go to one of my laundromats, continue on to my second laundromat here in town. And then after that, I'm gonna wrap up with one of the hotels that I have uh, in that area. After that, I'm gonna continue on my way back home. So the opposite direction, I'm gonna be heading east now. And I'm gonna make a pit stop at another hotel that I have, and then off to home. So I'm hoping all in all, it'll be about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, I guess, um, for the time, but that's just the goal. Now, first things first though, I need to get out cash. So let's go do that. Now with getting cash, uh, what I'm planning on taking out is uh, $4,000. That'll uh, kind of make a couple of my machines back to 2,000. And then it'll make uh, the hotels a uh, little over 15. So that's my goal is to get enough cash to get uh, 15 in my hotel locations and then uh, 2,000 in the laundromats. So now I'm gonna pull up to the bank first. All right, so I got the money out of the bank. It is now uh, 5.15. So that took uh, about 20 minutes to get to the bank and get all the cash out. Now I'm gonna park here and uh, make sure all the bills and everything are lined up and separated properly. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna do uh, 1,000 in each of the laundromats and uh, 1,000 um, 1, at each of the hotels. Here they look right now. Shortly, they'll be packaged up properly, so it's a lot easier for me to just grab one stack and uh, that's already wrapped, so I know exactly how much I'm taking in with me and I'm not taking anything extra. All right, so I got done with the bank. Now I'm at location number one. Uh, it is 5.33 right now, so took a little over a half hour so far to get the cash and get over to, uh, to, get over to location number one. And uh, what I did is I ended up splitting up the cash. I took out 4,000. I did uh, 1,500 that I'm gonna throw in each of the laundry mats, which is a total of 3,000. And then I'm gonna do uh, 1,000 at one of the uh, the hotels that I have because it actually has been doing pretty, pretty well. And then on top of that, I have uh, $720 I'm gonna throw into one of my other hotels, uh, which I will do that on the way heading home because it is on the way home. Uh, off of one of the access roads that we have over here. So I do try and stay discreet as possible. So I'm not gonna show you guys, you know, the, everything going on, me walking through the laundromat and whatnot, but uh, I'll see if I can uh, take a video of me loading the actual ATM for you. Um, but once again, I'm not trying to advertise that I'm filling the ATM to anybody in the laundromat, just in case there is somebody looking uh, to snag some cash or something. So I definitely am cautious about that. So, uh, so let's see what I can do for you. Before I forget, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Hit that bell notification. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Every little bit helps. We're on our way to a thousand. Let's get it. All right, so I got that first one done and now I'm at location number two. Uh, it is 5.45 now, so all in all, it's about uh, 45 minutes we've been at it. Uh, about to fill up number two, also a laundromat. And uh, one thing I don't know if you noticed, but I did take off my tie. Uh, I don't wanna be super, super noticeable in there. I'm trying to be covert as possible when I'm walking in the, the uh, laundromat or any location really, I'm filling an ATM and uh, making sure people don't notice or don't look at you or notice you, uh, in my opinion, is a good thing. 
So I'm gonna go hit uh, number two and I'll see if I can uh, record something for you. And fortunately this last one I wasn't able to because it was way too crowded in there and I don't wanna do that uh, to the guests and to the customers of the location. The last thing I want is them to feel uncomfortable for doing their laundry. Um, so I wasn't able to fill this one uh, or the last one. I am. It seems like this one right here is a little slower, so I should be able to record something for you. So let's go ahead and do this. So without fail, I could not video in there either. Uh, this laundromat also has uh, some gaming rooms um, or has some machines in the game room and, uh, and people were playing. So I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable by videotaping them gambling. Uh, so I wasn't able to take a video. Uh, it is 5.51 now though, and I'm heading to the, uh, to the hotel. So still a little under an hour on total. And this hotel is about uh, 10 minutes away, and uh, I should be able to video record on that one. Such is life. Let's go to location number three. So just made it to uh, location number three to fill the ATM of the day, number three. And uh, I'm gonna throw 1,000 in the ATM, and uh, it is 5.58 now. So we've been going for a solid hour just in travel time and filling the ATMs in the bank. Uh, Hopefully on this one, I'll be able to record for you. If anybody's in the lobby, I'd rather not just uh, for guest, uh, guest privacy. But uh, if not, I'll try and get a video of me loading the machine. Let's see how fast I can do it. Let's go. All right, so we have an issue. I don't know if you could tell. The issue is uh, connecting to the internet seems to be a problem right now. So what I'm doing is I'm resetting the machine. I'm gonna go grab my wallet in the car, uh, just in case, uh, or once I get it working, I wanna do a test run on the machine just to make sure it connects to the uh, it connects to the internet. Last thing we want is to have an internet issue, a wireless internet issue on a machine because that means nobody can use it. So I'm heading back now to uh, take a look at it. So when there is an issue, I definitely need it fixed. And luckily all that needed really was the, the ATM to restart. Sometimes just like your computer at home, these things need to be turned off and turned back on again to recycle everything. And that seems to be the issue or seems to be the case of that issue. Uh, luckily it was a quick fix. And now I'm on to location number four, my last laundromat. I don't know if you noticed, uh, but I did uh, put a card in the machine. I wanted it to cycle to make sure it was connecting with the internet and it worked out just fine. It declined my transaction because I didn't put the correct pin in and, uh, and it worked out great. So that's uh, one way I was able to test it to make sure it is 100% working properly. So now on to number four. Oh, one more thing. It is 6.09 now. So we're being going for about an hour and 15 minutes with a slight hiccup, but we were able to fix it real quick. Now let's go to number four and then off to home. Let's go.
and time. It is uh, 6.51 now, uh, so just pulled in my driveway, and uh, all in all, it's about an hour or two hours round trip. What I ended up doing is uh, filling four ATMs, two of which I uh, got uh, them over 2,000, which is what my goal is for the weekend. And then I was able to uh, fill up some of the uh, local hotels that I have uh, an ATM in. It's uh, hotel industry is a little slow at the moment, unfortunately, but there are a lot of people still traveling and I'm hoping those people want to use ATMs. So I wanted to make sure they were full. One thing that I want you guys to also realize is I don't really want to go work after I just got off work in a long day, but I'm doing it because I think it's going to be really good for my future, for my family. So I'm sacrificing now while I can and I'm making some decent money while I'm doing it. Financial security, financial stability, I think is very, very important. And with uh, COVID still around and who the hell knows what it's going to be uh, in six months, having some extra income coming into us, uh, coming into the family is not a bad thing at all. So a little bit of grind, a little bit of hustle. You can also do something a little positive. I hope you guys really do enjoy your day. It's almost the weekend, luckily, but for me, it's just another day. Keep grinding, keep hustling, enjoy the day, but work hard like it's Monday, guys. Until next time, later.